from the air, the true extent of these floods and landslides can be seen. This helicopter is on its way to the region of Labak, where dozens of people were buried and communities cut off. Medical aid and food supplies are being flown out to the tens of thousands of people who have lost their homes or simply can't get back to them. Monsoon rains that started on New Year's Eve have unleashed the biggest flash floods in the region in a decade. Rescuers are finding more bodies and emergency shelters are filling up. In the capital Jakarta, this sports hall has been turned into a temporary home, but it can only hold a few hundred people. At least 170,000 across the city need shelter. Children here looked very sad when they arrived. They're traumatized seeing the floods and their parents panicking. In areas people can return to, a clean-up is underway, but it's a major challenge. Entire suburbs are submerged. Some places are 19 feet underwater. With more rain on the way, the government has begun seeding clouds, the process of pumping certain chemicals into the air in an attempt to prevent rain across flood-affected areas. The peak of the rainy season is in February and March, so we're still facing possible floods. We're now modifying weather so the rain won't fall in the cities. For the people whose houses are flooded, we hope they'll stay in refugee compounds so we can monitor their health and reduce possible disease. The hope is that floodwaters recede before the next rains arrive. Nicola Gage, Al Jazeera.